Okay, so this in fact is not a RuneScape video, it's a Pokemon video. This is a very new thing to my channel. I did suggest it in my local vlog and I was like, no, you mustn't do that. So yeah, this is this is going to be my first try at it. I hope you like it. What I'll do is, if I use a new team that you haven't seen before, I'll explain the team, uh, tell you what's on it, tell you the sets, that kind of thing. And then if I use a team that I've used before, then I will not, basically. Um, I'll just jump straight into the video and hope you remember the team. If you don't, you can always go back and watch the first video of that team, and you'll be like, you'll be set, basically. So, if we get into the, go into this team, this team is UU. Um, I do have an OU team, but I haven't played with it for a while because I keep getting hacks to know you and it annoys me. Um, so yeah, uh, I've got a choice scarf Victini. Uh, it's got uh, V create, U turn, uh, a brick break because curse and small axe is a thing. Zen headbutt, max attack, adamant nature, max speed. Uh, the choice scarf means it outspeeds a lot of things after V create. Uh, then a speed boosting and mega life orb because my orb, max special attack, modest nature, air smash, bug buzz because air smash and bug buzz are stab. Uh, Giga drain for threats like by Vicaria or Azumazil. Azumazil, yes, Azumazil. Uh, and protect so that I can get that speed boost up straight away if I need to. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Um, oh, there's something else I wanted to say. Yeah, like I, like I say, brick break on Victini. Uh, Curse Snorlax was a real issue. So if I scroll down a bit, uh, I've got a Ferro Seed with Leech Seed because it needs some form of recovery because Inviolite stops it having leftovers, protects Spikes uh, and Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball stop it just getting shut down by Taunt, uh, def Max Defense, that kind of thing. Uh, Gligar again, Max Defense, uh, Sub, not Sub, that's Gliscor, you idiot. Uh, Roost because Healing, Earthquake Storm gets shut down, Toxic because Toxic Storm is quite useful, and Stealth Rocks because they're basically the most important move of the game. Um, then if we come down a bit more, we've got the specially defensive play doll. Um, this is my rapid spinner. It's it's not a bad rapid spinner. I might switch out for something, but I haven't quite decided what, because I need a special wall, and it needs to be able to rapid spin, basically, because otherwise my Leon Mega just gets destroyed by hazards. Uh, toxic, because toxic stalling is a thing. Earthquake, again, just standard, and, you know, lets it take on Reiku or something if it needs to. Reiku, Raikou, I don't know. And then finally, we have the manly man, choice banded Azumarill. Uh, Azumarill only has 80 base attack, which is kind of shitty, but huge power doubles that. Choice band adds another 1.5 onto that. Um, with Aqua Jet for priority, because I don't have any speed investment. Then Waterfall for stab. Uh, double edge, because it's 120 base power and it hurts things. Super power again for that ever present annoying ass Snorlax. Yeah, um, this team had a big problem with Curse Snorlax. Anyway, uh, let's get into the team preview. Okay, so let's get started with the team preview. He's got a Zatu, which will probably be specially defensive with Magic Bounce, because that's what most Zatus are like. Uh, Ferro Seed, again, probably defensive with Hazards and Seeds and that kind of thing. A Togekiss, which by his team preview is either Scarfed or a Thunder Wave set like a Jirachi. A Scrafty, I kind of forgot what that was for a second there, which is either Bulk Up or Scarf, because that's what Scrafties are. A Porygon 2, which will be either Trace or Download, and depending on which, it'll either be a bulky spread or a more offensive spread. And finally, a Cathagogus, which is either going to be Rest Talk, Calm Mind, that kind of thing, or Out and Out Defensive. So, let's go. Uh, I lead off with Choice Scarf at Teeny, because it's Choice Scarf. He leads off with Porygon 2, because he wants to kind of get the defensive edge on something, I suppose. Uh, I just U-turn straight out of there because I don't really want to take a try attack or anything. He goes for the cover, maybe predicting the brick break or something. Uh, I predict the Zatu switch in and switch to Victini. And now I'm like, something's going to have to take a V-Create. Off I go, V-Create, 55% to a Porygon 2. And so I imagine he's now planning to outspeed and kill. Nope, it's Choice Scarf, so at minus one it's actually at neutral, which will outspeed the defensive Porygon 2 build, which is clearly what it is. But now he brings in Scrafty and I don't want to take a crunch or anything, so I switch straight out to my Ferro Seed because it'll take it on quite well, even if it goes for a super effective move. It bulks up though, that's not good. And I take a Drain Punch and seed it, and now I'm back caught up. Um, so I get a bit of Leech Seed Recovery, and he switches out here, I guess, expecting the Spikes, which was a good play, because now the Spikes are bounced, but he kind of wasted his bulk up. Uh, I predict the Thunder Wave, going to Claydol to take the Thunder Wave, not let anything get paralysed. He U-turns on me, and I'm like, he's going to U-turn, or he's going to do something, so I Rapid Spin. Cafagrius comes in, obviously blocks the rapid spin, and yeah, that's a pretty stupid play. So I try to toxic Cafagrius, and Zatu comes in, and I'm like, crap, and he bounces the toxic back onto me. But now I'm predicting to U-turn again, so I'm like, right, 
I'm a toxic protecting the Cofagrigus. But the Cofagrigus comes in, and I miss the toxic. And I'm like, God damn it, I would have loved to have some residual damage on this thing. As it turns out, it doesn't actually matter, but yeah. So I get my Stealth Rocks up, predicting him not to switch to Zatoin now. But he brings me down to a range of Shadow Ball where Toxic will finish me off. And it does. So I go into Ferro Seed, like, nope, you, you can't kill a Ferro Seed. And I drop some Leech Seed. And he bounces them back, but it doesn't matter because I expected that, and I thought a uh, leech seed probably won't won't affect the seed, so it doesn't matter. And now he thunderwaves me, powers up my gyro ball. I go for a gyro ball, do nice nice chunk, forty percent. Try to leech seed again, sort of making think I'm going to spam leech seed, waiting for him to switch because there's not much Zatu can do to a um, seed. So he U-turns on me, and I predicted to do that and go for another layer, go for a layer of spikes, get my first layer of spikes up. And he goes into Ferrocede, he gets his rocks up, and I was like, God damn it, I didn't think his Ferrocede would have rocks. Now my Yan Mega's screwed, because my uh, Claydor's dead. And so I go to Rabbit Spin the Hazards away, and he brings his Zatu again, and I'm like, Oh, so you're going to Spike War? And he Psychics me, and it does nothing. And I Gyro Ball him 40%, and now I'm like, he's got to Roost. If he doesn't Roost, he's going to lose his Zatu. So I bring in my Victini, and it gets a little bit distraught by Hazards, but it can take another Hazard switch in. His Zatu roosts, and now I've got my Victini of 3. So I'm like, something's dying to be recreate. Off I go, Choice Scarf recreate, and one hit K of the Ferro Seed because it's a recreate from a Victini. And it's 180 base power, and stab, and quad super effective. And that Ferro Seed's dead. So now he brings his Toad Kiss, and the way he brings it in makes me think he's Scarfed, or bluffing really well. So he, I go into Ferro, Ferro Seed, and he just goes out and out for the Air Slash. There's no Life Orb, no Leftovers, nothing like that. So he probably was Scarfed, and I was right. So I'm like, well, he's going to flinch my zoom roll to death, or I could use uh, Aqua Jet. Kill him with the Aqua Jet, in comes Scrafty, and I'm like, crap. So I walk and I Aqua Jet him, maybe hoping for another crit. Nope, he bolts up, and I'm like, this is probably quite bad. So uh, I go into Gligar to take him on, because I don't think he has Ice Punch, because he's a Curse Variant, and Curse Variants don't normally carry Ice Punch. Does nothing to me, nothing at all with Drain Punch, and I toxic him. And he goes for another bulk up. I don't know whether he's planning to muscle through my Gligar with, like, plus six. But anyway, he's now toxic. I Earthquake, just trying to kill him a little bit faster. And he rests, and I'm like, why didn't I remember that Scrafty carries Shed Skin and rest? Uh, so I go back into my Zoom roll, and I'm like, right, we're going to have to superpower and do as much as we can. So he's asleep, and superpower. And he's about 30%-ish, and I'm now at minus one. So he's going to wake up next turn, and it's going to kill me. Uh, it kind of depends how much he gets back with Drain Punch. He's up to a nice amount with Drain Punch. But I bring in Yan Mega. There we go, Yan Mega. Takes 50% from Stealth Rocks because it's Yan Mega. And then Oko's at that range with a Air Slash. Good thing I didn't miss because that would be annoying. In comes Zatu and he's like, I'm going to take a Buzz Buzz. I'm like, Buzz Buzz? Yes, Buzz Buzz. Bug Buzz. And I'm like, you're not going to take a Buzz Buzz. And he does, he lives on one. I'm kind of behind. And he thunderways me and I'm like, well, that's a wasted Yan Mega. But he's going to roost here. And... I get paralysed. I was like, I would have one-shotted him with a bug buzz there. No question. I would have one-shotted him. It would have been super effective, but no. And now he kills me with a psychic, and I'm like, god damn it. So I go into Victini, who's now almost dead from the hazards, and V-create, and I'm like, right, all I've got to do is kill this Capacricus. It's going to be at 70-ish percent after Stealth Rocks and Spikes. I don't know if I can one-shot it from there. So here we go. Go for the V-create, and it's a clean Oko. I don't know what's going on there. Um, normally, I think Capacricus would be bulky enough, but no. Um, so yeah, that takes the win. Uh, feel free to leave a like if you liked it, uh, subscribe and you'll probably see more either Pokemon or RuneScape content. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, tell me if you liked this, if you really liked it tell me, if you really didn't like it tell me and I'll just start a separate Pokemon channel. Or if you'd rather I did that anyway, yeah, say, uh, bye for now.